these two cassettes that you see in front of you, I found um, in an old uh, 1970s cassette answering machine. I didn't want the answering machine, so I just took the tapes out of them and paid for them, uh, which they really didn't know what to do. So they just said, I have just a dollar. Um... And it's interesting because this one has an, a label. It says outgoing message. This one is a regular standard 60 minute tape. So I feel like this is probably not the original one that came with the machine. This seems to be an original one that came with the machine. It's just a 15 minute each side type one cassette. I took them because I just had to know what was on these. This is where the answer it this is where the messages would have been this is the one that um was left by the owner of the machine um i did just play this beforehand just to make sure it would be all right to film and it's fairly comical so we'll play this together i have here a um tiac v437c um cassette deck i actually got from my public speaking teacher at college going into this uh, Iowa mini micro component system. Hello, this is Charles. I'm sorry I had to get one of these machines, but I had no choice. Actually, I have two of these machines, but one is an ATT piece of junk. And like all pieces of junk in this world seems to have something against me. It doesn't work, so I'm using this machine as a backup. It hasn't been used in a long time. So if it makes mistakes and cuts you off, please forgive it. It's a lot better than the AT&T piece of junk that I got waiting to go to the scrap heap. After the beep, please leave your message, name, time of day, and telephone number where I may reach you, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Believe me, if I was wealthy enough, I would have somebody to answer the phone. Unfortunately, this is the best I can do. Thank you, and... At least you try to have a good day. And that is easily one of the grumpiest voice and, uh, uh, phone messages I've ever heard. Now, I would absolutely love to know who Charles is or perhaps was. I'd love to know when this was um, recorded. Um, I have to imagine, I'm guessing probably the 70s or 80s, perhaps later, maybe the 90s, but I would imagine no sooner than that. Um, <laughs> I, I, I just love the, the, the grumpiness that this guy had. He was seriously annoyed with his at t piece of junk answering machine. So that is what was on the outgoing message tape. Um, this is a nice tape. I'm definitely going to um, rip this onto uh, Adobe Audition and save it. Oh, oh, I just noticed there's some blue on there. Um, I do wonder what the beeping was at the end. I have to imagine that was for something, um, some some code for the for the uh, tape machine. This is the tape that should contain phone messages. Um, there's a code there. 63H18, I don't know what that stands for. It's a Sanyo with an old compact cassette logo. This is an old tape. This is probably a 70s, maybe even uh, mid to late 60s. Let's rewind it and hope that there's nothing too personal on here. Well, let's see. Come on. Oh. Oh, you know what? I was interested. There's no leader on this tape. I just realized. There's no leader. That's why it wasn't rewinding. Okay. I hope there's something on here. It'll be a very boring uh, video. Charlie John Miller. I called Tuesday about 20 after 9. I know it's a late call. I was hoping to catch you at home. Uh... I'll give you a call. Uh, give me a call during the week sometime if you're not doing anything. All right, take care. Bye bye. It's 
Sally, this is Chris. Let's start talking in line later. I went to the 80 mission. For more details, call me at 740 interesting one um that does give us a location he was mentioning grand central so this must have been in new york city it's weird because that didn't sound like that was coming from a phone that sounded like that was coming from uh an external microphone and we're getting a charlie i'm hearing with a strong accent a charlie i was hearing chris mentioned um i maybe chris was maybe uh did this Charlie, and if you remember um, the outgoing message, this guy's name was Charles. Charlie, Charles. That's fascinating. I, I'm this sort of stuff. I I love. Let's keep going here. Let's let's see. Charles, this is Joy. Sorry, it's Lima. Huh? I wonder what happened there. Charlie, this is Chris. Uh, you still there or what? Well, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, I'm with the IRT's mic. Uh, call me back to 741680. Calling, it's Johnny. Uh, Dr. Lebovitz, L-E-B-O-V-I-T-S. Phone number is 436-7447. He's on uh, 56th Street, 13th Avenue. Get off at 55th if you're going to take the bait. I'll talk to you later, Charlie. Bye-bye. So we had a, a Dr. Lebovitz there, which sounds like a Seinfeld character almost. Um, uh, yeah, definitely New York City. Definitely New York City, um, 56th Street. So this is... And it's weird because I'm down here near Philadelphia, so you have to wonder how it got down here. I wonder why it cuts off like that. Um, I guess the machine wasn't catching the tones, or I'm not exactly sure how these old cassette answering machines worked, but um, some of these kind of get cut off a little bit. Um, but he did actually say in the outgoing message, if it cuts you off, sorry. Yeah, it, it seems to be cutting off a lot of people. Good morning, Charlie. It's Charlie. This is Colleen. Are you there? I hate that machine. I hate it, too. And starting about two days ago, it started cutting people off. I didn't realize that till this morning. I got a uh, phone call from... Uh, 
A friend of mine this morning said, if you don't want to talk to me, don't talk to me, but don't hang up. And the machine is cutting, it's taping us. Do you believe this? It's taping us now? Yes. So I have this for posterity, for all posterity ahead. So I was going to call you back. Now, I just, as soon as you called, I picked it up. Uh, oh, no, because I, I hung up. I, they make me nervous. Now, the reason why is we're going out to lunch. Right. And we'll be back in the house. I figure, well, you know, in case you tried calling in between that. Yeah, well, I tried. I, I tried. I, didn't, I couldn't get a hold of you yesterday because I was, uh, you know, I didn't even get a chance to get off to San I'm working for that other stupid place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I was thinking maybe uh, tonight, maybe uh, if you want, uh, there's a stupid Lebanese restaurant in Court Street. Stupid. Well, it's pretty stupid. I haven't been there in about a... Can you see it? I can't believe this machine. It cuts off people. And there's one person I don't like calling. A guy named... Well, you probably heard about him. Bob Lobianco. And he calls oh, me. I heard and it about him. Oh, it doesn't cut him off. Oh, he has 10-minute conversations on this thing. I don't know why. And I believe... Hold it. I believe inanimate objects actually do hate me. You know? I mean, I, I have this thing about... I must have kicked a rock when I was six years old. Since then, I've had no luck. But this thing started... It's. It, I had a... A good friend, he called me this morning about 8 o'clock. He said, I'm waking you up. I just want you to know I don't like being If you don't want to talk to me, don't talk to me, but don't cut me off. Oh, you have it on all the time? Well, that way. well, I tell you, I was doing that for a while because I, I get a lot of calls from communists on the job, on the uh, TA job, because they're... Communists. Yeah. Like Steven, shut up. No, no, I'm, no, because, no, no, communists, uh, Trotskyists and stuff. Really? Right, because I'm very outspoken at union meetings, so uh, they figure I'm going to be yeah, one of their... Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, good for me. Yeah, what good is it, though? They nominated me, uh, Ed nominated me to executive board. <laughs> yeah, and they, they turned me, well, that's a long story. But I was thinking, I was going to give you a call and say that, I don't know, it's not a fancy place. I don't have any don't fancy like clothes. What's that? I don't feel like getting dressed up. No, I'm not, no, it's not, not at all. It's, in fact, uh, well, I have no clothes to dress up in. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I, well, I'm going to... I don't have, I don't have fancy clothes. It's the very fancy for work over the king. Well... Jeans. This place is jeans. All right. But, I, you know, I mean, it's. I hope it's still open. I'm going to go call them up. I am sure it is. It's open. It's always open. It's. They call themselves Lebanese, but it's like Italian French. It's Italian without... It's Italian... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, cutlets with... Uh, veal cutlets without the sauce. That's really what it amounts to. And they call it Lebanese. Well, you know, I mean, it's... It has nice decor. Of course, you can't get over the music there with the... It's the ra you know, Arabic music oh, there. I'll bring my headphones. Yeah. <laughs> well, that has a nice beat to it, you know. Oh, I can you I'll give it a 95. So, I, I was thinking maybe meeting you, uh, you know, maybe meeting you, I don't know, somewhere. Maybe at your house or something, taking you out. Because this usually doesn't open until a little later on. Nothing fancy, you know, I figured. No, 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 Because no. it's, uh, it's uh, you know, I like the, f at least, I, I don't know what it's, it's, I haven't been there in a couple of months, but, uh, I used to like the food anyway. <laughs> I mean, they might have got rid of their good chef, you know, and substituted a, a, a Palestinian terrorist. Yeah. In which case, I better start speaking Arabic real quick, huh? This is, this is fucking hysterical. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Whoever this guy is, 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 is a, is a, is a character. It's Charles fella who... Knew the machine was recording this phone call. For some reason, the machine must have tripped up. And it just started recording his phone call. So now what you're literally hearing is just this phone call between this guy, Charles, Charlie, and some lady. And he's, you know, referencing communists and Trotskyists and fucking Lebanese restaurant. This dude sounds nuts. I love it. This is, this is hysterical. Now you better say nuts. Not in front of me. I'll panic when I get it. <laughs> I'm very, I'm sure I like that, please. No, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The food yeah. is, is very, you know, decent. I don't want to, I don't want to keep you, I don't want to keep you from your no, lunch. That's right. um, don't you better eat a hearty lunch because I don't know if you like this stuff. No. The sherbet, but uh, the, the one thing I could get from you if I was going to meet you at your house, I was like, thinking of meeting you there, maybe take car service over. What was, is it? He sounds very romantic. <laughs> it's on Court Street, um, and I think it's Baltic. It's, um... Oh, so what time do you want to get started? I don't know, uh... I don't know. What time's good for you, uh... I don't know. You don't know? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Because, uh, you know, if you, you have something else going on, or... No, you know, no, 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 because I have to do some shopping, I have to work, I'm trying to think. Oh, at 5 I or 6... I guess it's about 7.30. 7.30? Yeah. 
I swear I'm listening into a to a fucking deleted Seinfeld bit. I swear it's the accent. This is a New York area answering machine. They're talking about a whole lot of nothing. What they're gonna do for dinner? This is a Seinfeld bit. That'd be good. Yeah, maybe catch a movie later too. Yeah, all right. Well, um, movies out. you know, I don't know your taste in movies, and I don't go for gore stuff too. Much. I don't either. So uh, I guess if there's a few movies out, we can check the paper. Sounds good. All right. All right. So what the machine is doing? I think you would have chucked that thing together. Yeah, I, I, um, I just bought this. There's no stuff to do. Uh, I, I think they saw me. Crazy Eddie's. They saw it was Crazy Charlie's. You know. Oh, Crazy Eddie's. That. Oh my God. Wow. That's a fucking reference. That certainly dates. That's Crazy Eddie's was a um, a very, very popular, extremely infamous. Uh, electronics wholesale chain in the New York City area. They were known for their just chaotic TV commercials and of course the fact that Crazy Eddie himself uh, he was arrested and indicted on a bunch of fraud charges I think or something to that. Um, yeah, that's hysterical. Look up, uh, look it up. There's an Oddity Archive episode on Crazy Eddie. Uh, I believe. It's true, Crazy Charlie with crazy money. That's what they said when they saw me. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the scoop. But what's a good time to call you? Or... Well, I should be back at the house by 6 o'clock. By about 6? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, maybe even 5, 30, 6 o'clock I should be home. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, okay. Carly, that sounds good. Don't expect too much. This place is kind of, you know... Okay, so her name, I believe, is Carly, he said. Uh, nice. I mean, it has exposed brick, so I figured it's either in violation of the health code or, or they made, made it to look nice. I don't know why. Uh, why that? I'm not a fancy person. Don't worry about Well, uh, believe me, I'm, not, I'm, I'm far from it myself. <laughs> not, not because I don't want to be, but because I'm, uh, I'm forced to by the dictates of Madison Avenue, etc. <laughs> What can I say? They don't make good-looking suits for people that are oversized 36 waist, you know? They oh, that's not true. Oh, yes, it is. They, they figure you're a fat man and all you want is comfort. So they, they, they cut these things like circus tents. So I, have, I don't have any circus tents. Just circus tent clothes for work and L.L. Bean stuff. Well, okay, so I'll call you about six. All right. And we'll see what we can do. Okay, no problem. And I'll, I'll call to make sure this place is open. Okay, good. Uh, all right. Okay, see you. Fair enough, Colleen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, that was the most... Um, I, I don't know what to say about that. This guy this guy sounds like a Seinfeld character, like a, like a Kramer, except this guy was saying he's a little... You know what? No, 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 no. This sounds like a George Costanza. This guy sounds like a George Costanza. Hands down. He's very nervous, obviously. He's talking a lot. Um, he, uh, you know, just, he, this is fucking ridiculous. I, I'm so glad I took these tapes out of that machine. Charlie, it's Joy. I'm home. I want to know where you are and what you're doing. I want company. Call me soon. She wants some company. I wonder what that's all about. fucking depressing um he said you're working for transit so i guess this guy charlie um bus driver perhaps train conductor uh he mentioned the union and i know that there's a, a transit union in new york city so we're kind of piecing this guy's life together this is fascinating i know it's a it's a long video but this is fascinating
Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Sunday, it's uh, quarter to four. And uh, I spoke to Rob and said something about uh, they forced you to make a third trip in the Nancy and you, you booked off a couple of days or whatever. I went over, uh, I got my results from the court officer test. And it was, uh, I got a 96 and a half. Where are you going? What summons? What summons? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, have fun. Where's Tim coming? Yeah, well, he's late. Yeah, he's late. Anyway, so I got a, uh, I was out of 80,000 people that passed, or whatever it was, I'm a 186 on the test. 186 to call me down for the job in two weeks. So, I'm at my mother-in-law's house. Right? Give me a call when you get a chance one of these days. I'll see you later by my child. Hi, this is John. I'm sorry to have to call you, but I had no choice. The day is today, the time is now. Check you later, stud. The day is today, the time is now. Yeah. Smart ass. <laughs> How you doing? This is Rich. Um, if you're there, pick up. If not, I cut him off. Charlie, this is Alan. I'm calling you at about 10, 12 or so. I'll just uh, try to get you sometime tomorrow morning. A lot of these messages are so vague. I'm really trying to figure out what they're trying, what they're talking about. I laid wait. Uh huh. Did you do the acting bumping yet? Hi, right, this is Alan. I'm calling you around 8:15 a.m. Statue of Liberty to go. Yeah. Yeah. Statue of Liberty to go. Charlie, it's 12.44 on Wednesday, and we're ready to walk out. Oh, uh, Charlie Redman, this is New York News Day calling to confirm your order. Our number is 856-8458. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. I think we got a last name there, Charlie Redman. New York Newsday, confirming his order. I don't know what that's about. Yeah. And uh, and I was running for kind of a 
wandering around here because I've never been here before. Right. Rather than rushing to get somewhere, and then we just thought we'd check in with you and see if you had anything in your mind. Not that much. I was thinking, oh, this is terrible. I'm getting like a feedback. You what? This is terrible. I'm getting a feedback here. Not only am I getting recorded, but I, I can hear myself talking. Yeah. I feel like I'm on a radio. I don't know there, kiddo. I don't have to be until 5 o'clock tomorrow night so I can mm-hmm. come out, but uh, did a lot of running around. I don't know. I feel kind of like bumped out. Yeah? Yeah. So you don't want to come out? Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'd like to, uh, well, I'll maybe I'll... Yeah, sounds good. I mean, if you come back uh, in this area, come back to Brooklyn, you want to stop on by, come on in. Okay, I'll I'll probably be loaded to the gills, but that's beside the point. Yeah, Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, how'd you like it? Johnny walked all the way to the top. I didn't. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough walk with the spiral stairs. And I haven't been on it since I've been 10 years old. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we got one wandering around and miles to go and all that. So I'll talk to you later. Okay, good enough, kiddo. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. doesn't sound good. You lying bastard. I wish that conversation didn't get cut off. Is there some drama? Please yeah, don't. How many home balls did you hit this time? Charlie, you worked for... Oh, man. Yeah, his machine cut off a lot. Charlie, it's Johnny. Pick up Charlie, it's Joy. Charlie, you said you were going to be home all night, Charlie. Good morning, Charles. There are 11 more minutes to this morning when you said it was the latest that I'd hear from you. Wake up. I'm going out soon shopping to get my hair cut. Check in with John at some point this afternoon. We'll be looking to leave between 5 and 5.30. Bye. Huh. I'd like to talk to you about a present for Ed, and Colleen would like to know when the hell are you going to call her again? Are you interested or not? Goodbye. Interested, yeah. It seems like maybe she knows that, I don't know, maybe Colleen is a friend of this lady. Maybe these are his union people. I don't really know. I think I'll cut this off at the half hour mark because the video, I shouldn't, it shouldn't be any longer than this. I don't know who's still watching, but this stuff is, is fascinating. At least to me. Yeah, overall that's stupid. Uh, you can hear the dial tone. Joy. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Charlie, it's uh, it's about nine forty-four. Charlie, it's twelve o'clock. It's Lila. Do they sell repair kits for HO scale trains? That's the gift I want to buy Ed. So we have a Lila there too, and an Ed, a gift. Perhaps it's an his birthday. They were talking about a train, so he must have been a train conductor. This guy must have worked the subway, the the subway system. Uh, 
grand old flag, you're a high fly. Hi, Charlie, it's Johnny. It's uh, 10 to 7. Uh, returning your call. And uh, I'll call you back. Take care, bye-bye. I am returning your call from earlier today, the one in which you said call 8.830 tonight. So here I am calling. I'm now home. Call me back. Okay, I think we'll end it there for now. Um, it's gone through a lot of the tape. This guy had a very... He clearly had his answering machine for a long time. Um, fascinating stuff. I'm going to play side two as well uh, for myself. And I'm definitely going to record this, put this up on my... Um, I have an archive.org page as well, which I'll link in the video here. Um, and hopefully soon enough, um, this will be up there. Um, I would really like to know what this guy is up to now, if he's still alive even. Um, I would really love to try to get a date on this. I'm, I'm guessing the 80s, maybe the 70s. I don't think the 90s. This sounds 80s to me. Um, so, yeah. Very fascinating. And, yeah. <laughs>